Hi, hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Come on, let's begin into today's topic. Today's topic about uh, headlight modification. There are a lot of bikes and bike owners uh, change the headlight for their purpose, and some people like Japri riders, uh, they change their headlights for a looks and attraction of other riders and other people like that. So before that, uh, if you go to a headlight modification, before that you need to know some things. After that you put a headlight modification. Okay, uh, now quickly go into today's topic. Before that, if anyone watches our video without subscribing, subscribe then only you got a notification about our video and future updates. Uh, if you like our channel and video, then hit a like button it ignite me to put some videos like that first thing uh, we go to bulbs there are basically three types of bulbs uh, namely halogen led and hid halogen bulbs are made for tungsten uh, everyone knows a tungsten bulb it's in a round shape and uh, it's produce a lot of heat in the bulb and it also have a more voltage bulb so uh, in earlier days the bulb is inverted in halogen so in that era all the bikes have a halogen bulb now also the now also bikes came with the halogen bulb like like commuting bike and affordable price bikes so these types of bikes came with the halogen bulb uh, halogen bulbs these types of bikes and cars came till now with the halogen bulbs basically halogen bulb have a yellowish orange tone so like a 3200 kelvin so it's a little bit warmer for a look of visibility the another thing is led bulb led meaning light emitting uh, diode so this lights gives more brightness than the halo halogen bulb if you have a halogen bulb and it gives a less lumens, if you put the same voltage and same wattage bulb of LED, it gave a more light than halogen. So that's why all the people uh, go to change a halogen to LED bulbs. Then third thing is HID bulbs. HID bulbs is very very costly than the LED bulbs. Halogen bulb is very cheap. LED is little bit cheaper and little bit cost and HID is very very costly bulb uh, like a car of Audi BMW that cars have a HID bulb from the manufacturers and halogen bulb is uh, reflects in a reflector not a projector some bikes only uh, have a projector with a halogen bulb and some bikes and cars have a LED bulb and projector and uh, projector and reflector. But if uh, vehicle comes with a HED bulb, uh, the vehicle must be reflect in a projector. In it not reflect in a normal reflector. Okay, now we can uh, go to that if you if your vehicle have a halogen bulb okay then uh, you put a led bulb or else if you have a led bulb then replace a high lumens led bulb lumens is basically gives a more brightness so what is this uh, matter lumens means it is a type of calculation in a unit more lumens means more uh, brightness and what is also a main role in creating lumens there are the led bulbs came with means uh, it's working under the ac and dc like that uh, future some topics i say about that if you bike have a stock led then put on uh, some powerful leds like that or else you put a fog light like that if you have a hig uh, you know you not need to worry about a headlight modification you just put a fog light if you have a halogen only you put a led don't go said for a 
uh, HID or like that. If you have a LED, you can go with the HID, but you, your vehicle should be in projector type. Okay, now we go on the topic of adapters. Uh, every bulb have a every adapter, like old bikes like RX100, XL Heavy Duty, it's like a round type bulb. And now modern day uh, bikes like come with a H4. H4 is adapter, H1 is adapter, and a lot of adapters in this market. So if you buy a H1 bulb, you can fix in H4 Doom. Okay, in H4 Doom, if you have a H4 Doom, you only need to buy a H4 bulb. In that bulb box, there are put there are put bulb box. They put the adapter size and uh, like H4 H1 like that. Then they put uh, volt and watt like that, and a lot of things they put it. Uh, but we buy it and fix it, and suddenly it says our battery is gonna die. And like that <laughs> adapter is main thing if you buy a random adapter or like that you can fix directly in the your adapter better you choose uh, your adapter type headlight doom and uh, that suitable bulb next we go to the volt and watt volt volt and watt v a w t what is basically two types in bikes like 6 volt and sound, uh, 12 volt 6 volt means uh, it's produce uh, less electricity like olden days rx under they have uh, two types of, like 6 volt and 12 volt and nowadays bikes and cars comes with a uh, 12 volt if your bike have a 6 volt means you need to put a 6 volt bulb if your uh, vehicle have a uh, 12 volts means you need put a uh, 12 volts if you put a 6 volt bulb in 12 volts means the fuse gonna be done it's be broken the light is broken uh, if your vehicle have a 6 volt then you put a 12 volts means it is a low voltage it is very very dim in output uh, then when uh, then we go to the watt watt is basically it's uh, have a power to more brightness there are basically two types like 35 watt bulb and 55 bar 60 watt bulb 35 watt, uh, 35 watt bulb is mostly used in motorcycles and uh, mini cars like nano like that and after that for premium cars and more expensive cars, cars they put a 50 by bar, 50 by bar 60 bulbs so according to what it is a uh, more brightness and like that in that scenario uh, you can put a 50 uh, 35 watt bulb in 60 and 55 but it has a high voltage comes from the wires so it gonna be fused broken if you put a 35 watt thing in a 60 watt means uh, if your cables wires maximum output is 35 watt but you put a uh, 60 watt means the battery will gonna be die sooner and your uh, self start with uh, not work properly like that and you faced a lot of issues if you putting this headlight better you go and check it is a 35 watt bulb or 60, 55 60 watt bulb if a uh, bike gives with a 35 watt bulb like a duke something you need to put 35 watt uh, LED bulb if a bike uh, gave with a 60 watt there is no bike I think in my knowledge there is no bike with 5560 uh, or else you put a 5560 in AC it's in AC you can manageable but another thing is if you put a 55 and 60 in AC bikes means you need to put a kill off switch for the light so it is the main thing and without a kill switch you put it like uh, bs4 and bs6 like bikes it gone it gone also drain your battery better you choose uh, if you need a if you want to headlight modification like a 35 watt halogen to led like that anything better you put a kill switch for that thing so it saves your bikes and 
uh, battery like that. Then another thing is AC and DC. Uh, AC and DC, which is uh, AC is take a power output from the coil, from the magnet coil, uh, the crankshaft is rotated, right? So its power is uh, goes to the coil and it's generating uh, power and it's give to the headlight and battery. It, the battery within the connection, there is one, some alternator like that. So it uh, convert uh, AC to DC. So there is no power fluctuation in the battery power generating. And if you put uh, AC means you not need put a uh, LED like if uh, LED mostly LED likes in DC that means a battery current. If you put a coil current in uh, LED means that DC LED means your light gonna be fused done. So you not uh, claim a warranty in that scenario your 2000 or 3000 5000 is totally waste. Better you put a connection from the battery if you have a DC bulb DC LED bulb. If it is an AC bar DC means it is okay possible but it's also a fluctuation. If you put a AC means it fluctuate for an RPM. If uh, low RPM it is a low light. For high RPM it is a high light. So better you buy a DC and give a battery connection and give a kill switch for that bulb. DC, uh, DC is generally take the current by the battery so if you have a battery and put a light on means in uh, bs4 bs6 lights so every time it is uh, on like aho the automatic headlight on so that's why you got a lot of uh, battery drain yourself is not working well so like that lot of problems in it so better you put a, a light switch for it and if necessity only <coughs> In case of necessity only, you turn on light, otherwise you turn off light, okay. Uh, next thing is fog light. Fog light is made for a purpose of foggy conditions, rainy conditions and uh, other weather conditions. It is very low visibility like that. So if you put a fog light in your bike or car uh, without any knowledge or without something, you lost uh, your battery. If it's uh in on means uh you put necessity if you, it is a necessity for put a bulb fog light you better put it in off roads or lives in the rainy seasons like that uh if you have there is a illegal legal and illegal thing if you put a fog light the legal thing is uh, the fog light is under your allow uh like below your headlight it is not straight to the headlight it is below to the headlight so it's only it's illegal and you need to cover it like a uh, black color cloth because black color cloth uh, is a uh, it absorbs the heat and the light so if in case of you didn't understand and didn't get it like uh, how do you how can i say it? uh if you not remember it is a non like that it's absorbs the light so no one can distract by that so that's why only they put it if you have a fog light but you not turn it on if the police catches you they broke the fog light like that uh, better if you need, if you put and tie the black cloth with it the police don't uh, fight with you right they don't say anything but you need at least a black cloth and uh, tie it for a fog light so that case it is legal and in case of emergency like that uh, that kind of purposes only you turn on now we came to the ring light uh, most of ktm chapri <laughs> uh, made uh, most of ktm owners and rs owners like that they put a ring light for a more cute attractive of a motorcycle and some car owners also putting ring lights in the cars if you put a uh, ring light in your vehicle means better you go to the best electrician like that then give a bike and, or car then give a connection in case of bike or car get a fire in that modification there is uh, insurance will no claim for your vehicle it is a disclaimer better 
you go to the very good shop uh check twice it is not so cute like that if it so cute or else it uh, going to smoke or fire your insurance will be not claimed okay you need to fix your bike with your own money it is very 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 important thing you need to know and another thing is drl drl is based for a daytime running light uh, in our government uh, before some years they ready they put this like if a bike came with our or a vehicle came with the manufacturer they are, must be put a drl light it is meant for a to indicate other drivers to there is one vehicle is going like that for that purpose they introduce a drl light so foggy conditions rainy conditions it's slightly uh, visible to other riders and other vehicle owners who is driving right and another thing is aso aso which is a automatic headlight on uh, it is not a automatic headlight on if you uh, put a key it turns on that's only it does not uh, off or on due to the conditions like that uh, if you ignition is on means it is also a on it's not a uh, engine start or off like that if you have a av aho bike don't speak unnecessarily uh, without offing the bike or car better you off ignition then you speak then after you do start if you speak like that without uh, offing that means engine is off but ignition is on like that the light is going to drain your battery then self is not working then you need uh, some help for others like jump start or uh towing bike and uh, clutch something and you make a bike start so like that problems it comes and another thing is high beam and low beam most of the riders and bikers and vehicle owners and drivers don't know about the high beam and low beam before you have a driving license learn about what is this what is that some people put like it is a blue color chick chick like that it is blue color it's indicate your bike is have a high beam or low beam condition that means you need to put a low beam the low beam is work for a road presence only for us road presence is very matter for that purpose low beam is perfect the high beam is only for use for the these reasons only if you overtake put a pass uh, pass button the pass button indicates i am going or i am coming to you like that i cross you like that and it indicates and give some attention to other drivers and high beam is right to uh, direction like that and some signs in the road right so it receives to read it and sometimes uh, there is a no light there is no light conditions like there is no street light there is no uh, divider light like that if you you can put a headlight for a better visibility but otherwise you did not put the headlight it is very very critical thing uh, for you it is very best for the opposite person the eyes gonna scatter they lost the concentration in the road they take their bike or vehicle and uh, and smash you or like they go and down from the vehicle then another thing is white balance if you buy a uh, if you buy a led bulb white balance is very thing uh, 3200 white balance means it is a yellowish orange color like a tungsten bulb if it is a 7500 kelvin means it is a blue color basically uh, temperature is calculated in three types like celsius fahrenheit and kelvin uh, for weather conditions they mostly use uh, celsius and fahrenheit for our body uh, they use fahrenheit and for photography and some uh, engineering things and this type of uh, light things they convert uh, they measured in kelvin kelvin is basically they heat a black cloth uh then the black cloth will turns color according to the heat 
like they are consider this color uh, with this degree equal to like that so like that it is the right if you put very blue color light in your vehicle uh it have more disadvantages like poor vision at night usually you put a light in night uh, night time only it is used for a night time but you have a low visibility in that period and second thing is if it is rainy on the season uh you not know the well vision in the rainy things and foggy conditions like that more more weather conditions it is totally worst better you go to the led means check out it is around 5000 to 6000 so this is make be okay or else 6500 6800 6, is also very good but not that much good it is very good like that so you need to check it it is also mentioned in the bulb box and uh, another thing is legal and illegal in modification if you put a reflector to projector it is illegal for the cops but it is not a very very main thing but it is not a legal thing and if you put a projector it may be a reflector projector or a projector projector that means a reflector projector reflector or normal reflector uh, you need to certified from the dot you know already it is a isi dot ec certified in the helmets and uh, you can usually see the dot certified in the uh, enfield is a helmet sir okay and mirror and something etc etc in headlight also you can see that if the if you buy a headlight it is have a dot certified it is okay it is illegal it have a no uh, certified means it is a illegal thing which makes it uh, produce a uh, lot of reflections and distract uh, other vehicles if you put also a yellow uh, beam so that's why they say it it does have a dot certified so without dot certified you put a reflector means uh, your bike gonna be sees or else they put lot amount of file find that right like that um and if you put a hd bulb in reflector it is also very very often and it your uh, vehicle going to see smoke ops like that and another thing is insurance if you put anything in your bike like 55 to 50, uh, 35 or like that or else you put a led to hd or else uh, you put a halogen to hd or led like that and some people put a blinking lights under the belly so like that there are lot of modifications in lights so if in case of fire or anything happens the insurance says it is no claim electrical issue we uh, it is not our responsibility you need to put a lot of money and you have more money to make your bike like that uh it is a conclusion next in conclusion my bike also i have a modification like my old uh, headlight which is stock with the bike it is have a low visibility and it is a old type make means uh, it's have a round bulb like rx100 and suzuki suzuki shogun like that my bike is suzuki maxonada so it is have a round bulb so another days i got some videos and some things and i noticed h4 is very very common bikes uh, common bulbs and it is available in market is very soonly so i chose first in doom doom means it is a plastic and metal there is two types uh, for i put a 35 watt bulb to 55 bar 60 so that's why it produce lot of heat so if i put a plastic means it is be melted so i chose a metal thing and after that i buy a 50 by bar 60 watt bulb and after i put with a ac current my uh, magneto coil is producing 60 watt that full 60 watt came to the headlight but what about battery means uh, other times i turn off my 
Philips. Okay. So in that time, it gets uh, charged to the battery. So it is not issued to a uh, issue to me. Uh, if you put it means just like me, take some research, take some times and take some things, get an experiment and get your bike into it. So uh, if you go to headlight modification means think twice before it is needed or not it is necessary or not there are a lot of uh, things between needed and necessity necessity only means you pull like that after that i put this uh, this bulb and this projector i have a wide uh, wide roads clearance like that in my old thing it's be narrow because it is a five inch it is a seven my currently i putting is seven inch doom okay so lot of this you need to know about headlight modification you need to research like uh what is inch and five inch and seven inch differences like that so lot of thing in headlight modification and the designs uh, designs and shapes also matters the rectangle and the circle like that circle gives more uh, lovely reflections there is overall uh, pure but in reflector means the straight is is good but wide is very not like that good it is not uh, very bad it is slightly bad okay so like that you need to research more than more before a uh, headlight modification and another thing i mainly says don't put your bike like a chapri bike don't uh, hurt that machine to impress others and don't compare to other bikes your bike is your bike so some people seen nowadays they are comparing gt and uh, 390 390 is a plastic toy and gt is a metal toy and gt is a cafe racer model 390 is a street model so street naked model it is have a lot of differences don't do uh, comparison with this bike we are a biker community we are enthusiast and we are the brotherhoods i think you subscribe no uh for the thing we are not the like community in the 2023 there are lot of competing gear rights i think you get it so we are not like that yamaha suzuki uh then honda like that we are all bikers biker community okay you get it okay guys another video we see bye take care love you all